Good morning, everybody. Welcome. So lovely to see you here this morning. And a special hello to anyone joining us on our live stream today. So glad you are with us. So a couple of announcements. First is that we are on the precipice of our yearly wreath sale, which means that it's time to set up. So after coffee hour today, we will be um, transforming our parish hall into Santa's workshop so that we can decorate wreaths and, and sell them to, to beautify everybody's home. So we will need everybody's help to, uh, to work on that setup after coffee hour today. So you are warmly invited to, uh, to be part of that. Um, also today, we will be having a monthly online coffee hour. So this is a uh, online time on Zoom which creates an opportunity for us to connect with our folks who are joining us on the live stream or watching our YouTube channel from afar. So it's a space to be able to say hello to them and uh, create fellowship with them. So I do invite you to attend that online coffee hour this evening at 7 p.m. And the Zoom link for that can be found in our newsletter and on our website and on our Facebook page. So also, I will bring your attention to our third candle burning on the altar, which holds space for us to discern um, how we can support creating peace and justice in this world. And on that note, today, um, we are going to read a land acknowledgement. So it's important to, to make note of the fact that um, this past Friday, was Indigenous Peoples Heritage Day, and that November as a whole is Indigenous Peoples Heritage Month. And so um, we're going to read this land acknowledgement, which is a formal statement that recognizes the history and legacy of colonialism that has impacted Indigenous peoples, their traditional territories and practices. Now, acknowledgement is a simple and powerful way of showing respect and a step towards correcting the stories and practices that erase indigenous people's history and culture while inviting and honoring the truth. Now, words like a land acknowledgement are not enough on their own. So I do invite you to please take a look at our newsletter this week for concrete ways that you can support indigenous communities. But words can and do create awareness and change perspectives. So we offer these words in that spirit. So. Here is our land acknowledgement. The Church of the Holy City in Wilmington, Delaware, acknowledges that it is on Lenape land, also called the Leni Lenape and Delawarin, and they are an indigenous people of the northeastern woodlands who live in the United States and Canada. The first language spoken on these lands is Algonquin, Unami, and Munsi, and it is important that we recognize and respect the original stewards of this territory. We pay respect to elders, both past and present. We acknowledge that not only are we on their lands, they are still here and part of this community. We also acknowledge that this is the home of many indigenous people as a result of federal relocation policies and indigenous migrants from the South. We honor their ancestors, elders, and community leaders, past, present, and into the future. We speak these words to honor the Lenape peoples and invite all who come here to reflect on their relationship to the histories of this land and the people. We invite you to get involved and do your part to work with and support indigenous struggles on these lands. May the balance be restored. So with that, I will invite you to please stand for the opening of the word. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. So we'll begin our worship this morning with singing. Well, actually, I apologize. <laughs> we'll begin our worship this morning with our lighting of the Advent candle, since it is the first week in Advent. So I'll invite Mary to come up and help us with lighting our first Advent candle. Doesn't matter. So 
So during the season of Advent, we watch and wait for the coming of the Lord into our lives as we celebrate the Lord's birth in this world. We light candles to remind us that the Lord is our dawn in a world of shadows, that our God, out of great love, would enter into the experience of our humanity. Today, we light the candle of hope. And so now we will go ahead and sing our first hymn, which is number 707 as found in the red hymnal. <laughs> 